Um, I know you guys can't see it, but we have a rug under our feet. And we've only been here for about two months now because of my new house. And uh, Rick doesn't usually have his shoes on, and he usually rubs his feet on the rug. And he's already frictioned a hole in the rug. <laughs> I'm long, I'm strong, and I'm down to get the friction on. Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. It's the good news. He called it. It's up, he's doing post to the can. Ring the bell of Hall of Nation Squad. Ring it. Bang! <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. Well, I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't listening, were you? Also, I was speaking over there, so the audio was probably bad now. If yeah. I go like this. Here, you don't want Compared to over here. Uh, oh, here. It's something we're going to have to get used to. We're normally used to just <laughs> going everywhere. <laughs> you feel like you're at NASCAR? Today we got a teaser. Mm, good trailer. Sorry, Te trailer. Uh, it's Bummer. A, it's I wanted a, to be teased. It's a new Netflix film. Great. Um, I do believe it just They're came out just a few them out. days ago, but it's called Cobalt Blue. Oh, it's uh, a great flavor of Take Five. It's my favorite version of Take Five. Oh, it's Take Five. Legit. I'm not kidding. My favorite. Oh, gum the gum is Take Five, and the flavor is Cobalt Blue. That's it, what it's called. This is about the gum. Yeah. Anyways, great. This is uh, uh Pratik Babar. Anjali Silverman, Nile Mehendel. Um, I don't know much about it. I just know a lot of people have been raving about it so far. Um, it's a great gum. The gum. That's what they're raving yeah, about. It is. Cobalt Blue is my favorite. Here we go. My father shifted here six months before we came to Kerala. This is the area. I'm going to cut I मुझे ऊपर वाले कमरा दे दो ना तुम्हारे बाबा ने तय किया है कि ऊपर वाले कमरे में पेन गेस्ट रखेंगे It already feels like call me by yeah, your name ये वाली रोगी दूध शक्कर वाली तुम्हारी वाली Call me by your name this मेरे कमरे में मेरी खुशबू के बाद भी काफी जगह है Yeah that's exactly what this is how rude he is. Handsome, but rude. Handsome, but rude. Jab se school mein tha, tab se choti kahaniya likha karta tha. Phir kavitaye likhne laga. Asal mein mujhe ek novel likhni hai. Ek din aayega jab tum likhoge novel. Khud ko rok nahi paoge. It's always about what you lose, what you leave behind. Nice. Really nice. Ending, really yeah. nice. Um, so, what yeah, that, that's lovely clearly trailer. in an adaption of, if you haven't seen Call Me By Your Name, the reason I know that, I've seen it. They did shots that are almost directly kind of related to Sure, I mean, that's it. why I immediately went, wow, this feels like Call yeah. Me By Your Name. Um, but uh, it, there, it's not a strict, strict. Because not at all. A strict remake. Not at all. Even though there are stuff that is direct, like some shots, and I know what scenes they're doing from the original, and good on you not casting Army Hammer. Um, <laughs> yikes that guy's fame didn't last i wonder why uh, <laughs> anyways um but yeah i actually uh, i remember really enjoying call me by your name uh I, I i think you and steph didn't enjoy it as much as i enjoyed call me by your name i think that's uh, you're absolutely right uh, i mean we except for the father the, the father and yeah the, well he, i think he won the oscar didn't he uh, he was nominated. He didn't win. Oh, okay. He was nominated scene, because though. of that last scene. Oh, that was amazing. Um, and Chalamet is always spectacular. Yeah, yeah. Chalamet was great. 
Um, no, we we didn't like it because too much of it, and it's just our personal preference for Stephanie and I. We don't like to see relationships that are toxic, um, and and but there was no denying. It was one of those things where I get. Well, the same reason I felt like I thought Moonlight was a really, really well-made film. Mm -hmm. I just didn't think it was the best film of the year. Yeah. And I felt the same way about that. But th this... I think putting an Indian twist on it could be real interesting. Well, what I, my favorite thing about this was the real artistry and delicacy. And um, it just it felt so artistic. Uh, like it was genuinely approached with the artist's heart that this is this is a film, not just a movie. And I'm I'm deeply deeply interested in seeing this. Yeah, and yeah. Really nice ending to that trailer with the. Um, also, is it uh, photograph? Is it Hindi? Because I know they said the movie would come from Kerala, but I think it's Hindi. You guys can let me know if I'm wrong because I didn't see the language at all. I also wasn't. I was paying so close attention to the visuals that I wasn't really listening to the sound of the language. But it's only an hour 52, which is ridiculously short for an Indian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just ridiculously short uh, <laughs> in comparison to what everything normally is. Uh, whoa, buddy. Hey, I didn't I didn't say to just start playing music, <laughs> robot. Um it could be real good though, because if they make it, because uh, obviously that's a really good story. Is is the the call me by your name story in terms of a film? In it's unique, right? Yeah. Um, but to put it in, kind of like Forrest Gump, right? Make it an adaption. Put it in it, it immediately changes when you drop it into India. Yeah, of course. Because LGBT uh, Q um, standard and uh, not standards. Um, Acceptance is different in right, uh, they, but they were also where were they? Were they in Italy? They were in Italy. They were in Italy. And yeah. call me by your name. That's they right. were in Italy. And the other thing that I noticed that's a differentiation is that the Army Hammer um, Chalamet relationship. I didn't see it represented here in terms of this, the age difference because there's this big age gap. Yeah, in that comparatively, I don't know if they. How old was he supposed to be? I think Chalamet was seventeen. Because Chalamet and Army looked... Hammer was thirty. Tell me, I always looked ridiculous. Yeah, no, he, he was asked for sixteen. I, right I, now. I think he was a, a seventeen-year-old, and and Army was thirty-ish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Which was one of the reasons it made the story what it was, and that's one of the things Stephanie and I didn't like was the irresponsibility of the older man. Yeah, and <laughs> what would be the way, first time for Army Hammer without without <laughs> without giving anything away? If you've never seen Call Me by Your Name, it, I think you'd probably you can't help but appreciate the level of artistry it's extremely extremely it well done brilliant scene very I, well done. what's his name what is i know name? it's killing me he worked so much worked that year his, yeah that year he was in that he was in shape uh water. shape of water he was in i forgot there was another one that he was in that year where he was just all over the screens but he has uh, he plays timothy chalamet's dad and he has a monologue in that thing that everybody was talking about it was brilliant um, as is the uh, there's a particular thing you'll want to stay during the ending credits because there's something the director does in the ending credits that's very yeah. cool. Um, and it's also wonderful because how much, especially now that I'm seeing LGBTQ stories in the forefront of Indian cinema, uh, even though the, a lot of them are now OTT, obviously, with But I Do, which was a brilliant film. I think one of, I the, loved be I think one of the best LGBTQ mainstream stories I've ever seen. What was the thing you replied to? I, I, was it Netflix or Amazon that was talking about, or someone was talking oh, about? Her, she's a, uh, a famous, um, not a, she's a YouTuber, but she okay. reviews a Hollywood film. And she was talking about one of the best LGBTQ For streaming the things. Fantastic Beasts. The Fantastic Beasts thing. Yeah, that's right. It was mm -hmm. the new Fantastic Beasts saying what it was the best things, yeah, and, and you I, said, hey, check out, but I do. Yeah, because I, I think it's, because uh, I was trying to think, because obviously a lot of times they're more indie. Um, Brokeback Mountain. Um, Love Simon uh, and you know, all these other, but they're a lot more intimate, yeah. Uh, as opposed to the mass audience, they're not as accessible. Gonna, correct. Gonna see them. Yep. Everybody's going to see Fantastic Beasts. Yep. Except for Johnny Depp fans, and everybody can watch. I'm but sure. I, but I do. Yeah. Everybody can watch. But I do. Yeah. Uh, and so that's why I was like, this is probably. But I do is one of the best, and this obviously still feels like more of a indie kind of yeah feel to it. Which I hope uh, a very a, very adult mature subject yeah. matter. Um. But I'm looking forward to it. So if you've mm. seen this, please let us know because I'd be willing to watch it like right now. Absolutely. If you say it's a good film. Yep. Uh, so please let us know how this film is down below. Oh, nice. Josh!